Welcome back to the PowerPoint series of video tutorials from Activia Training. In our next short tutorial, we're going to have a look at exporting our PowerPoint slides as pictures. Now, for this, I'm going to need PowerPoint Hub and Running, and I've got an example file waiting there converting PowerPoint presentations. So I open that up, and we can see straight away pretty standard slide deck there. Okay, eight slides, a few bullet points. Okay, nothing special going on in there. And uh, what I need to do is export these as pictures. Now, why may I want to export them as pictures? Well, uh, that's entirely up to you, of course. Uh, however, it may be that I want to get them as pictures and then insert them into a Word document uh, to create handouts of my own specifications. Okay, so whatever the reason, uh, the process is pretty straightforward. Open up the presentation and then we head for the file menu. Now, normally when we're exporting, we'd head to export there. Okay, so and this is where we'd go if we wanted to create standard Word handouts. Okay, so I want to be in full control of my handouts and uh, perhaps export as a PDF there. Okay, but in my case, I'm, I want a picture, so I'm going to go to Save As. And then I can point it in a particular direction. There's my Support Files folder. So I'm going to save them into the Support Files folder. Down at the bottom, I can change the name if required. Okay, but the most important thing here is save as type. So I don't want to save as a PowerPoint presentation. Give that a click. Okay, now whilst we're in here, we can have a look at a variety of other uh, export formats. Okay, so we've got a macro enabled presentation if we have macros in there. And there is PDF and XPS that we saw on the export section. Okay, and a range of other PowerPoint options at that point, including earlier versions of PowerPoint if we need them. Underneath, we've got our video formats. Okay, again, located on the export section. So export is a video, uh, MP4 or WMF, and then a whole range of different picture formats. Okay, so we can export our slides as GIFs, JPEGs, PNG. TIFF. Now, the uh, option that you choose there uh, is entirely up to you. It may be that you want to export these pictures and you know they're going to be used on a particular system that will accept only one type of file, in which case you can pick that type of file. I think for me, I'm going to go for the JPEG option there. Okay, so I'm going to export those as JPEGs. Now, just before I actually hit the Save button, down at the bottom, I'm going to click on Tools. And in case you missed it whilst you were building your presentation, we can compress pictures at this point as well. Now remember, pictures can be very big. Okay, so especially if we're going to email uh, the resulting pictures to somebody, we may want to compress them down to a reasonable size. Okay, so if I'm going to use those in a high definition screen, I can keep the highest possible quality. Uh, for print, it doesn't have to be that high, so we can compress them a little bit more. Web, well, we have to download these things across the internet. The smaller, the better, and the same for email. Okay, now I want to print mine, so I'm going to go for a sort of print resolution there. Okay, the final thing at the top, do I want to delete cropped areas of pictures? Well, yes, I do. When we crop a picture, obviously we remove certain parts of the picture. Uh, however, those areas are actually still there. What we're doing is we're just closing a letterbox onto the picture, if you like, so we're looking at the picture through a hole. However, the full-size picture is still there in the background. So deleting any cropped areas will reduce the size dramatically. So I'm going to tick that. We want print resolution and click OK and save. And the final thing is, which slides would I like to export? Just the slide I'm currently looking at are all of them. So in my case, I want all of those slides. And that's it. So each slide in your presentation has been saved as a separate file in the folder. OK, so it's going to pick up the folder name of the presentation. Let's click OK and go and have a look at those files. OK, so there's the folder that it's saved into the uh, support files folder. I'll double click that. And there we have slides one to eight. OK, and with the preview pane open on the right hand side, we can get a better idea of what those exported pictures look like. Just the same as the slides. Now I have been asked this a number of times and uh, no, of course, uh, transitions 
and animations won't work on these they're just static pictures okay so hope you found that useful i look forward to seeing you on the next video tutorial